Can we really expect joy all the time? I know it well after a day smattered with rowdiness and worn a bit ragged with bickering that I may feel disappointment and the despair may flood high, but to give thanks is an action and rejoice is a verb. And these are not mere pulsing emotions. While I may not always feel joy, God asks me to give thanks in all things because He knows that the feeling of joy begins in the action of thanksgiving. Joy is God. God is joy, and joy doesn't negate all other emotions. Joy transcends all other emotions. I will struggle to heed this until I am no more. Dear brothers and sisters, when trouble comes your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. James 1-2 and I will listen, and again I will listen, and I will wrestle to put skin on it. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Philippians 4.4. 4. Joy is a flame that glimmers only in the palm of the open and humble hand. In an open and humbled palm, released and surrendered to receive, light dances, flickers happy. If trust must be earned, hasn't God unequivocally earned our trust with the bark on the raw wounds, the thorns pressed into the brow, your name on his cracked lips? Romans 8.32, it's become my life verse, a verse to build a life on. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? How will he not also graciously give us all things he deems best and right? He's already given the incomprehensible. We may suffer loss, but in Christ, is anything ever really lost? In Christ, everything that belongs to Christ is also yours. Loved ones lost still belong to him. If you haven't lost Christ, nothing is ever lost. When you keep giving thanks to God for what he has already done, you begin to trust who God is now and what he'll give tomorrow. All fear, it's but this notion that God's love ends. And our God is infinite. What can end in him? He's the bread of life, and his bread for you will never end. Fear, it thinks that God is finite, and fear believes that there is not going to be enough. In this counting, 1,000 gifts, endlessly counting gifts, it exposes the lie at the heart of all fear. In Christ, blessings never end because his love for you knows no end. As long as there is a God in heaven, there is grace on earth, and he is the spilling God of the uncontainable, overflowing love grace. Each bridge we need to cross from one moment to the next leads us closer to home and to him. If the bridge shakes and heaves, and you feel like you're falling, remember this, in Christ, we are always safe. It is safe to trust. This journey of life, it, it takes us on unexpected and sometimes unwelcome turns over bridges and mountains, right through ulcers and anxiety and, and our worst nightmares. If we keep our eyes on the road, if we keep our pen jotting down thanksgiving to our God, our destination will become clear. We are entering through those gates of thanksgiving, and in His presence is fullness of joy. This thanksgiving to Him 
This is the road that leads to joy in him. <laughs>